What's up guys, my hair is performance. Uh, so yeah, uh, so basically what we're trying to do is improve the pressure on the factory oil pump for our meth machine. So it's an oil pump for a 2.5 five cylinder TFSI engine, CEPA engine code, uh, for those that don't know, uh, aka the meth machine. So what I did wrong this morning, what I'd realized once the coffee kicked in was I was just deadheading the oil pump. So basically I was maxing out the oil pump and it's, and the, it's got no flow. So it's maxim, it's maximizing its, its oil pressure. And then I went, aha, I've got a problem. Because you don't deadhead an oil pump uh, in an engine, uh, you have flow. Oil is going through the engine. It's pumping, it's lubricating, it's going through the crankshaft as it's spinning. So what I've designed is basically a T-piece on the end of here with a means to choking the flow. So a wide open throttle, uh, so with the valve all the way open, uh, I've got, I think it was about 40 PSI or something like that, but with my engine, uh, ran about 3000 RPM. I think I'm about 55 to 60 PSI, according to the analog gauge. Uh, so what I've now done is I've now set the choke uh, well, it is a choke, it's a valve, but you can use it as a choke because it's adjustable. I've now set that so when the drill is flat out with a fully charged battery, I've got 60 psi of oil pressure there. So what we're going to do is we're going to try out different shims, different lengths of springs ultimately, uh, to see if we can increase that pressure by 15 to 20 psi by keeping that choke the same position where it's at with the same RPM, with the same fully charged battery, this should simulate what the oil pump is going to be like or how it's going to behave in the car. Because it's a big job to put the car up in the air, pull the sump off. Now with obviously the RS3 engines, the 2.5s, they have a windage tray. You then have to remove that. Uh, so there's more time and there's more risk basically of foreign debris getting into the engine so we want to minimize this as possible and then once you've removed that windage tray you then have to remove the oil pump uh, and then when you reinstall the oil pump you then have to shim it i've got the tools here for it's proper the, the proper vast tool for shimming the uh, or positioning the oil pump relative to where its pulley spins in relation to where the crankshaft's pulley spins. It's very important you get that right. If you get it wrong, then you have premature chain failure, which obviously means that the engine will continue to run, but the chain has snapped uh, from premature wear and you no longer have oil pressure, which will write the engine off very quickly. So in a nutshell, what we got was Asda's finest uh, 5W40 oil. It does what it says on the tin, it's 5W40 oil. That's what we run on our cars. That's what we recommend to run on big horsepower engines in this country at least. Uh, and then cheap top aware that obviously as you can see leaks a little bit. So we're gonna have to come up with a better idea than this, but initially the idea is good. I think we'll probably just put some silicon underneath the bead of the actual lid, let that dry overnight. So it creates a bit of like a seal, like a top aware box would. Uh, and then run this up. So we've got a hole here for the input shaft. Uh, of the cordless drill and then obviously on this side here you can see the return with the adjustable adjustable valve there so so yeah not too bad not too bad we managed to crack the problem a bit yeah a bit stupid of me didn't have enough coffee in the morning deadheading the pump which is stupid because the pump would never work like that uh, so yeah so stay tuned guys